Today I'd like to talk about one community. And the community is called Barlor Play. It's in Liberia. I believe you'll be able to see a picture of it in just a moment if you're not looking at it right now. And it is a remote jungle village. It's really an unreached jungle community that is in the middle of nowhere. Take a look at that map. And you'll realize that it, Barlow Play, represents the intersection point of three significant roads. But really, the only reason that you're going through Barlow Play is because you're on your way somewhere else. And since it's in the middle of nowhere, it is very hard to get to. And so there were three pastors together with their mechanic that ended up uh, broken down in the middle of nowhere. You can look, and that is the actual vehicle that was broken down. The wheels are off it, and the wheels are put into a secure place. You couldn't certainly abandon the vehicle. You couldn't leave it. You needed to stay with the vehicle lest uh, someone come along and strip the vehicle down of any parts that were of value. And these three pastors, uh, their names were Obed, and we'll see a picture of them, Obed and Eddie and Robert. Their vehicle broke down as they were on their way somewhere. They broke down in the middle of nowhere, and nowhere was known as Barlor Play. And so as they are waiting there, and they're frustrated because they have been delayed now for a couple of days, you know, they felt even in the place of prayer, and they felt a strong encouragement on their way to minister to other locations that they were to take the time to be able to minister You know, not at other locations, but they were to use the time of vehicle breakdown to preach. Dan and Donna, you can come a little bit closer. Uh, To preach uh, to the community of Barlor Play. And I want you to know that in this community that was in the middle of nowhere, the gospel had never penetrated And people responded in faith to the good news of the gospel. They gave their lives to Christ. Isn't it great to have Dan and Donna Davies with us? Let's give them a warm welcome. Amen. Our favorite missionaries in the whole wide world, for sure. Let me tell you, in Liberia, land is precious. Land is more valuable than any other asset you could personally own. But he says, if you will come back and bring Jesus, pardon me, Bring Jesus to our village. Mm -hmm. We will give you land to build a church. Sorry, Dan, who said that? It's a man. The man from the village. A man from the village, just a man, random man. Yeah, that's right. From the village said, if you will come and bring bring Jesus Jesus with you. Yes. We will give you land for a church. That's right. Wow. And that is unusual, as I say, folks, to give away land. You, there's got to be something there in your heart. And I believe, and Donna, that the Lord, the Holy Spirit, put something there that made them hungry for the gospel. We've got the land. Yeah. Maybe God wants a church built there. Right? Does anybody think that God wants a church built there? Can you say amen to that? And, and you know, we just need to realize, right, that, that you know, there are no accidents with God. No. Right, you know, and that very specifically, he has chosen to to birth a church in that community, Barlor Play, and I believe that we can be a part of that. And so, what I have in my pocket here is I have a check that represents two thirds of the building cost to be able to put a church in Barlor Play. And I'm believing that the Lord is going to help us 
to supply the rest as well. Amen. And so I believe in this room that we can partner together with Dan and Donna and that we could do something great. And so if you want to help us, you know, there is an offering bucket that's at the back and you just put Liberia on the outside of your envelope, uh, you know, on the missions line or you contribute to missions in our general sense. And we are going to support this. We're going to do it. We're excited about it. We know that it costs more perhaps to go into the middle of nowhere than it does on the main street. Yeah, exactly. But you know, why should people have a chance to be able to hear the gospel twice when there's other people who've never heard it once? Absolutely, yeah. Right? Yeah. And so with that in mind, you know, we, we do this, and we do it to the glory of the Lord, and we're excited about hearing how things are going to come together, but suffice to say that we trust you, we believe in you, we love you. Can anybody say that we love Dan and Donna Davies? Amen. We really do. Thank you. So let's just give them a warm welcome and Thank let's you. stand together. Let's stretch our hands towards the front and, uh, and let's pray for this incredible couple. Lord, we thank you so much for Dan and Donna. We thank you for the way that you are using them to make a difference for your kingdom, Lord, upon uh, the hearts and the lives of people that have never heard. Mm -hmm. Lord, we understand the significance of getting the gospel into places where it has never been preached. And Lord, we understand that's a responsibility that you have given to each one of us. Mm -hmm. Lord, bless us so that we might be a blessing, mm -hmm. we pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. And I believe that this story is going to be one that, that will have an incredible testimony even at the end of it. But I'd encourage you to jump on board with us in the process uh, Dan and Donna, you know, are going with funds to be able to commit to uh, running the project, and certainly we will, uh, you know, finish it off, but we welcome you to participate uh, with us.